Content warning, the following video discusses topics with heavy themes. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello, good people of the internet. Um, <laughs> we took a short break between the last episode and this one, and some shit happened on Twitter that some guy just randomly dragged me into the situation. Let me set up context first. Uh, so there's some discourse. Well, let me play the game while I talk about this one. You want me to explain the discourse situation? About the... So, it's really big in the uh, furry fandom that there's a whole bunch of discourse on the idea of feral artwork and how there's a, a, a growing number of people who, for whatever reason, believe that drawing feral art is therefore zoophilia. zoophilia. Because feral... It, the definition of feral in the furry community just means basically walking on four legs. Or essentially depicted more similarly to the actual creature you would find in real life. Yes. There's this Sometimes, course. like, a feral wolf would be a drawing or depiction of a wolf that looks and acts like a wolf rather than upright anthropomorphic furry OC character you might be used to. I, I would mind even argue about the axe part because of, uh, because it could still be, like, intelligent, right? Well, I, sure, and we, I yeah. think we've talked and discussed the idea of having, like, both Anthro and Feral in our particular show that we're kind of working on the background. Yeah, I mean, for example, Ryan, he's a feral. He's a pony. I, okay, yeah, good example. Now, yeah. I would not... I, I wouldn't go so far as to say that things like porn of ponies and other ferals necessarily equates to zoophilia because it's not, unless explicitly depicted to be so. Yeah, and like... But as long as they pass... The Harkness test? Yeah, that's it. Where yeah. They, they're, they're adult. They're an adult, they, they can consent, and they, they have can intelligence. communicate with you. Yeah, they have a communicate, they, uh, they have the intelligence of, of a human, basically. Uh -huh. Um, or equivalent of to be able to communicate those ideas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so maybe even if they don't speak or whatever, they can at least, like... They're written or it's like... Or, uh, psych, psych, what, yeah. Tele telepathy? Yeah, yeah. Or even, like, nudges or... I don't or know. body, like, even to some extent. Like, to a certain extent. The, 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 we're getting past the point. But some method of communication. Yes. Some method of communication. Um, um, and then they have to be, like, intelligent... Uh, well, I think we're already said Intelligent, mature adults yeah. from your race and, and, species, consenting. and consenting. Those are the big three things. They're going to be able to communicate with you, they have to be mature adults for whatever species they are, and they have to be able to uh, consent. consent. Yeah. So as long as they pass the hardness test, I don't have a problem with it. Yeah. I, I would apply that to just about any creature or character, really. As long as they're an adult, they can consent and they can communicate that to you. I, mean, I, I say go for it, whatever, you know? Um, unfortunately, there's a lot of discourse over the idea of consent, both in our regular general lives through certain groups of people and in the furry community. Mm. I'm not entirely sure why, but this seems to be a big issue for a lot of people. Yeah, unfortunately. And there are, unfortunately, certain types of people out there who like the idea of... This is a different discourse. Yeah, this... we'll get to that. Anyway, so... The discourse for this one is uh, the people talking about... They just want to label anything as zoophilia, basically. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure um, uh, people are, just, are like trying to say like anything that involves uh, ferals, like even if it's not inherently porn either, like like just like a safer for boar picture or whatever. I mean, I get boar is kind of kink, but like it's not even pornographic and. It just or not necessarily explicitly sexual in any way. Right, and like you're gonna try to say that that's zoophilia? I don't know. Anyway, so there's a lot of discourse with that, really. <laughs> um, and I, I found someone who I agree with who was talking about it, who, who was going like, um, uh... What'd you miss? I don't know, it, it's homing and it homed on a wrong plane or something. Whatever. Um, can you, like... Wow, that's actually kind of hard, isn't it? Oh, well, I think I made too many mistakes because I was focused on, uh... Talking rather than playing? Yeah. Oh, well. But, yeah. um, but there's a guy who I found who made a post I agree with, and I made a comment saying... Because he, on his, like, on the third panel of what he was saying, he was, like, saying that, speaking from experience, he is an asexual just like I'm an asexual, and he can only get into things that are disconnected from reality, which is exactly just like me too. I only get into fictional things. I only like fictional characters. I only like furries, and that's because they're a fictional creature that don't exist in the real world. I don't like things in the real world, you know? Like, I'm asexual, I'm not really into real world, born, real world sex or whatever. I just, 
I like, I like the idea. Um, I can't get into rea the reality of it. Like, as soon as it becomes real, I'm kind of like turned off to it. Which I mean, I, I I'm not asexual, so I don't really and I'm, I'm share a lot of those things. But I think and, I can kind of understand where at least where you're coming from. And there are different types of asexuality too. Like, not everyone's gonna feel the same way. Uh, that's but but sure. I found I found someone who th th this guy does in fact feel the same way as me, so I thought it was pretty cool, you know? Mm -hmm. So I, 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 I left a comment saying, wow, I feel like you just described me to a T, that's exactly the way I experience it too, you know? I also only experience liking things that are fictional and blah blah blah, you know? Uh -huh. Um, and that was that for a while, um, it, this is like, I, I want to say, thank you. it was like a month later, I want to say, and, uh, someone, whoa, retweeted me. Like just now, uh, a little like, bit ago. Yeah, like a little bit ago. Uh, the because apparently they're in this Twitter argument about people talking about uh, I don't so like lollies and whatnot, right? Or 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 porn of children, but they're drawn, right? So that means it's it's okay, right? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. And but this. This person cool retweeted me because they're in this argument and they're like, "Hey, look, people can like things that are fictional." And I'm like, "Whoa!" I mean, whoa. Yes, but yes. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Hold. hold. Uh, you're, you're, you're drawing a completely like out of the blue argument from a a, a a thing that's not even related to this. Yeah. I, so, listen. I understand that you know teenagers and minors of you know, but usually between the ages of 12 and 17, tend to start kind of getting together and experimenting and doing what they will. You know, that, that, that's just a thing that teens do. Sure. I, I mean, it, it is. Stick with your age range. But, sure, but I mean, you know, do what you will, like what you like, whatever. You know, it, it, we all have our own roads of experimenting with Right, sexuality right. and love and all kinds of stuff. I, I don't want to deny, you know, anyone underage from being able to explore that because that's a very normal, healthy part of growing up and learning about who part of who you are and what you like. So, so whatever. Yeah. All, all, like, yeah. All I know at first is that this person dragged me into this weird argument, and I'm just like, whoa, whoa, what the fuck did I get dragged into? Uh -huh. And I start reading, and also some reply is saying they're trying to use me as an example to say pedophilia isn't bad. And I'm I, like, what the that's, fuck? That, that, that's where you draw the line. Like, yeah. I, I don't care if it's fictional or realistically drawn or whatever. It, 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 children and yeah. minors of any sort... Never should be involved in sexual situations. Especially with an adult. Like, it's one thing, I guess, weird, incredibly weird, if it's like some teen-on-teen -teen action or whatever, but at least that I could kind of understand. I still don't want to see that, like, that, in porn. No. Yeah, I, like, that, I, if, they, if teens want to experiment among themselves, Go ahead. I don't, I'm not going to look for it, obviously. I'm right, not gonna, I don't want right. to see it. Keep that in your own bedrooms. Uh -huh. it, like, you know, it, that, that, that's your private sex life. You do. Yeah, yeah. But like, but like people drawing. Now, that does not mean that an adult is allowed to consent with a minor. That yeah, That is no. not okay under any circumstances, fictional or not. Right. That's also just plain weird and kind of disgusting. Anyway, I, I had to I had um, to come in because I couldn't just let this sit because they're trying to use me as an example to argue their point. And I'm not gonna let that stand. So I had to come in and go like, <laughs> I said, uh, and I'll, I'll quote exactly what I said. Please don't use my weird quirk as a way to defend pedophilia. I can't believe I have to say this, but liking fantasy creatures isn't the same thing as liking children, fake or not. I think it's safe to say, if someone likes fictional children, they like real children too. And there, there, there's some discourse on that last little bit, I guess, but I generally, I tend to agree. I. I draw the line at, listen, as long as they're at least an adult and they pass the Harkness test because they can communicate, they're consenting, mm -hmm. they're an adult, fine, whatever. If it's like aged up like Shit. High Hero Academia characters, if it's aged up like Powerpuff Girls or whatever, you know, these other like small cutesy characters and whatnot, as long as they're at least adults for their species or whatever, mature and consenting, I, I guess fine, whatever. Weird, but whatever, you know? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. That, 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 that's where I draw the line, really. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, I don't know. Um, I still think the aging up thing is kind of weird because they were children in their like official media. But I mean, I guess it, if if they are just 
painted as the adults in the thing, it's not as bad. It's a little weird to me still. Weird, yeah, but I mean, if you're just taking that character and you're, you know, you give them a more adult look, you, you, you obviously attempt to depict them as being, being adults, older and as such an adult. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, go for it. If you're still, if you're just claiming that they're 18 plus, but they're still drawn like they're... Oh yeah, they're little, this, this, is a, this is a 3,000 year old dragon or whatever, yeah. but it's like literally in the body of a child. Which I... I <laughs> Look out, cows! Here I go! I, yeah. Uh, weird. Like, listen, if she actually, again, if she passes the Harkness test, fine. Weird, but fine. I get it. You know, whatever. I don't know. And I, like, I, I, and like, maybe you, you might not agree with, uh, that, that's a thing that Fire Emblem, I think, also kind of struggles with, right? That, that, is, that one of the characters in Fire Emblem that you can romance and actually have children have this, right? Yes, because it, it is one of the things that she does have a child later on. Yeah. Yeah, from but, the, the time jump and blah, 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 blah. The thing with that, though, is, like, like so, 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 supposedly this character is, like, 3,000 years old. She is. Yeah, like, 3,000-something. Yeah. She's, a, she's a, a dragon king or whatever, so she transforms into a dragon, she lives a super long life, etc. But she looks like... A nine-year-old, essentially. I was gonna say a 12-year-old. 12, 12, okay. And she generally kind of acts like one, you know? Yeah, yeah. So you play and, you know, she, she right. has that tsundere sort of... The fact that she sleeps it off. The fact that she still acts like a child, too, also does not help with the case at all. Yeah, no, I mean, you can... From their, like, bonding moments and whatnot of whoever you pair her up with and whatnot, she grows and kind of matures and, you know, whatnot, and shows that sort of 3,000 year intelligence that she's supposed to have and whatnot in certain sequences, but you don't see that in a lot of her regular day-to-day -day stuff, which is kind of, kind of bordering on weirdness for me. Yeah. And honestly, even if you want to say she's 3,000, like, animals age different than people, right? Like, like, uh, like dog years, right? Like, the do dog years is like well, seven years or whatever, right? She's supposed to be at least still somewhat humanish, just she's dragon kin, so she has I, this more to her. I don't know. It feels it, like, it feels like maybe if she looks like a child, right? It may, leads me to believe that these uh, dragon kin or whatever age differently than humans, right? Right. And so, so, te so she should, should still be technically a child for her species, even if she is 3,000 years old or whatever, right? I maybe I don't know. I the game doesn't really go much more like, into detail on it. Just that she's supposed to be three thousand something, and she's like Baby Yoda, for example, right from Star Wars, Grogu, you know, from the Man Mandalorian. What about him? He's or whatever. I him. Him. Okay. Uh, what about Grogu? He's he's fifty. Spiral. Okay. Because that's just like their their species age differently. But they're also they don't get very. Blue large, you know? Yeah, I know, but like, but you can still tell that Grogu is in fact like a, a baby, a child. Or an, an infant. It's an infant. Yeah. yeah. So, th he's 50 years old, though. Does that mean he's legal to consent? No. No. No, because for his species, he is not an adult. Exactly. Or is he... So I feel like... I don't think at this point he's capable of communication or even knows about home. Right. So I feel like the same logic should apply to this dragon kin or whatever, right? She might be 3,000 years old, but I feel like she's still probably only 12 for her species. I... Maybe, but the game tries to make it seem like she's not, so... Anyway, I could say, personally, I romanced her, not not with my character, with one of the other party members, but I, I paired her up just to see what the, just to see if she did have a kid from the future time jump and whatnot, and it turns out she does. Very weird. Who is, uh, not nearly as old as she is, obviously, but is much more mature and put together for the age that she's depicted to be even more so than her actual mother, which is unusual. That is weird. I... Like, I mean, there's one thing to have, like, a, a, a woman or a girl or whatever that's, like, bubbly and kind of ditzy and whatnot. Yeah, but to make them but, actually act like a child and look like a child. Like, in their human, regular form. Yeah, yeah, I feel like uh, that's basically just having pedophilia, but being able to try to call it not pedophilia by very technicality, like extreme technicalities. Right, and that's, again, where a lot of the discourse comes from, is where do those technicality lines, where, where are they drawn? And some people draw them a lot looser, some don't have any at all, and some draw the lines at a bell where it's at our own personal boundary. For that kind of stuff. Yeah. And... 
It is what it is, I guess. Uh, like, it is, but like, damn, I was like, I was not expecting to get dragged into a Twitter argument about that, and they're trying to use my argument to defend their point, and it's like, no, no, don't you, don't use my argument to defend your point about pedophilia, please. That's not the same thing. Especially if we're in favor of it, because that's that's just not okay. No. It's not the same thing. Like, I've got talking about something completely different. Like what you like, but within reason. Uh, yeah. Can, can we just add that little stipulation within I reason? Urgently need your help. The uh, I have have oh, well. our castle and captured our princess. Do you have if different you fire for this one? Right no. Away, they'll force her to marry Prince I, I don't think so. Well, I mean, okay. you, there was a blue fairy that gave you the ice breath. You do yeah. not have like purple. I don't know. Electricity nah, breath or something in this? I, I think the fairy is like the CPU or the the NPC, whatever. Like the the. Like, you know how each world has its own species or whatever? I think maybe this just might be the fairy world species. World. The species of the, this world is fairy. Oh. Okay. 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 Well, is this level in the same one as the ice world? No. I thought this was... Well, yeah, it's, it's in the same, like, Hubble area. Oh. Well, then I, I guess, maybe. Is that an egg thief or is that... No, it's just a, a swooping enemy. Come on like a wizard cat. Bat, maybe? Uh, Hurry, Spyro! I... If we don't get to the castle right away, the princess will be forced to marry that loser, Prince Asriel. Prince As Asriel? Damn, I... <laughs> Hit the nail right on the head with that one, didn't you? Because Asriel is like a prince of demons or something, right? Mm -hmm. Wait, is, is it? Right? Uh, I was thinking of Asriel as in, like, from uh, Delta Room. Oh, oh, and, and uh, I guess also Undertale. Oh. What, what, what does Asriel look like in Delta Rune? I don't think we've... We haven't met at, at where we are in our record. We haven't finished Delta Rune chapter 2 yet, but for, where we are, we haven't actually met Delta Rune and Asriel yet. But I imagine he's supposed to be, supposed to be college age. So I'm, I'm going to guess he's like probably taller. Spiral, we I don't know. Just, well, I mean, he's supposed to be like your adoptive brother or something, right? Well, you're the one. Yeah. You're the one. Yeah. 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 So I'm imagining he probably looks just like he did in Undertale, but older. Okay. I still find it kind of a shame that Toriel and Asgore are not together. I'm not sure what the reason is in Deltarune. I know in Undertale it's because Asgore literally murdered children, but, you know, because he wanted to put monsters on equal grounds with humans or something. Well, you needed human souls to escape the underground. Right, right, and he wanted to free the monsters. Yes. Okay, that was weird. I should have killed him, but whatever. But yeah, I don't know why they split up in uh, Delta Room. I think it's kind of a shame. I really wish that they would be together for one of these games, so we can like have neat little like family scenes with mom and dad and brother and everything. Yeah, you know. Well, Spyro, today is your lucky day. Oh. The wizards and I have worked out a little deal. If you simply pay a small toll, they'll be happy to raise these steps and let you pass. Oh, can you not run up at normal? No, I would just slide down. I'll tell the wizards to raise the steps immediately. Oh, and uh, best of luck rescuing that princess, or whatever it is you're up to. Yeah, I have to rescue the princess from evil Asriel. You know, come to think of it, the wizards only agreed to raise the steps. They never said they wouldn't lower them again. <laughs> Those guys are pretty clever, aren't they? Let me guess it's a time thing. Sound like it. Yep. Well, I still managed to make it. I think you missed one. Missed one what? An uh, enemy that charged at you. Maybe? You crazy? Uh, I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it was like a projectile he shot at you or something. Maybe. Wow. This water does not look like it's safe. Yeah, that's the that's the version of water you can't dive into. Yeah, it's right. colorful. <laughs> it's yeah, too too colorful of water. There's no time to lose. That's Prince Azrael and his cat that's armies her. are about to steal up. Oh yeah, they are cats. Princess. Oh, okay. I wasn't 100 sure. They could have honestly gone with cats or bats in this kind of thing. Yeah. All right. So Azrael and his army of cats. Melody, I'm gonna have to ask you to to put together some kind of Photoshop image of a 
of Azrael and his army of cats. Don't you mean Melmody? Melmody, okay, yeah. So on Discord, <laughs> on Discord, she her username is Melmody because Ryan was uh, getting together a thing for his. Um, he was playing Final Fantasy VII, the original. And, and he wanted to name the characters after people in the chat or something. Yeah. So uh, I think Melody was Kiva, I think. And when entering the name, Ryan accidentally misspelled her name as Melmody, and I was just like, "Well, Melody, looks like your name is Melmody now." Sorry, I don't make the rules. <laughs> and she was like, ah, oh, dang, that's a shame. And then it actually changed her name in Discord to Melody. <laughs> I was wondering about that, but I just figured it was probably something silly like that. Maybe it was like a weird like Halloween name change or something I didn't get. So, whatever. Uh, that was the reason. All right. So, did you happen to remember what else he put for people in? Uh... Um, I remember that he put me as Sid. Sid? Yes. Which, which, one, which one's Sid? Um, he's... I'm pretty sure he's like he he pilots the airship, and I think he might be also be like a scientist of some sort. Okay, which is why I would be Sid because I'm he put scientist. me in the game at all. I, I don't think so. I but... don't. I don't know. I... Huh. Uh, this is. I, I mean, I I'd be a little surprised if he did, considering I don't think I was on Discord at the time when he was asking about it. So. No, you're like never on Discord. Well, I'm trying to be on more now that I it's. Kind of my only method of communication with people. Yeah. Because I don't want to log into Facebook and use Messenger on my laptop because it's. Messenger like, sucks anyway. Like, it, it doesn't well, deliver my messages. It, I don't get the, people yeah. notifications when you're trying to get hold of them. Right. And, like, for some reason, yeah. It just. I don't know. It's been not really buggy lately. Equally, I just. I don't care enough to go back in on Facebook and see what my time looks like because I'm sure it's all kinds of crazy stuff from my. Yeah. I'm in a family who are politically. Oh. Don't you tell me about it, dude. Incorrect. Mm -hmm. I'll just leave it at that. The same with my family. The only reason, and I, I should probably stop using Facebook too. The only reason I still use it is because mostly I just mindlessly scroll Twitter. But sometimes I get bored of mindlessly scrolling Twitter, and I want to mindlessly scroll something else. And Facebook, Facebook is the other thing I mindlessly scroll. Yeah, let, let's leave one, you know, <laughs> disaster fire for another, right? Yeah, pretty much. Or, what, what's the what, what's the expression? What, one. Not shit post or I, I, there's a term for it. I can't think of right offhand. If only I knew how to use Twitter more. I wish I knew more things to post. I usually just post links to my um, recent uploads. Yeah, because I don't, I can't really think of things to say on Twitter most of the time. I mostly, I, I've said a couple of things on there. I'm not on there anymore. I don't even, I don't use like, TweetDeck or whatever the PC version is called. TweetDeck. Isn't that, isn't that what it is? I'm pretty sure it's called Twitter.com. <laughs> I, I don't know anymore, man. There, there, there's TweetDeck, there's like Twitter for mobile, there's Twitter for PC, I guess, still. I don't know. Like Twitter.com. I, I don't know, man. No way. Anyway, I guess my whole point is I don't really use Twitter other sometimes just sharing other people who have thoughts that and word it better than I can myself, or sometimes I say small random things on there and share links and videos of ours. Yeah, I think that's the biggest thing for me, too, is that there, there are... I, do, I don't really say a lot, because I feel like whenever I do have things to say, like you said, someone else usually probably already said it and better than I could. Right. So it's like, do I even bother? Or they've already got the thread, so yeah, know, yeah. I'll just share that, because that's everything I that... kind of already you know wanted to say anyway. Yeah, but... pretty much. Also, it seems like uh, Princess Amy and Prince Azriel actually are legitimately in love with each other they're not she's not being forced to marry they actually do just want to elope <laughs> oh okay of course it's a soccer yeah or sakura or however you pronounce it soccer i think <laughs> i did kind of like the thing <laughs> yeah that was pretty great Okay, that was a cute little thing. I, kind of a shame we had to go, you know, murder a whole bunch of his, like, dudes when it was just the cat guy wanted to elope with the fairy or whatever. Yeah. And vice versa, no less. So, I mean... I mean, the Rhinox, I don't mind killing, but, man, the, the cat wizards didn't do anything wrong. They were just, like... They were just trying to help their bud. <laughs> you know, get the girl or whatever. Yeah, so they can go elope. What? Wasn't there another one? Uh, another one what? Another big, yeah, th there's another one on the other side. Fuck, you're right. Did you... I didn't see it. Did you look right at I it. I didn't see it! 
So here is a particular little issue I have with Pichu Pal, for instance. Um, okay. He has, uh, I, I guess, a, a kink or something. Stop playing with that mint. About getting beat up? No, I, I care less about that. Whatever. Weird, but you know, I mean, hey, you do you. It, it, Maybe. That, it, that's his thing. That's his thing. I'm... So which kink are you referring to? Uh, the, you hear that whole thing of a non-con? That's not Pichu. Non that, that's not Pichu. I thought that he... No, no, that's not Pichu. That was someone else who was in the chat, but he's, a, he's not in the chat anymore. Oh. Who was that? Because I thought Pichu Pal was one of the... No, no, no. Was one who had no. fantasies of that sort of thing. No, that was not Pichu. Non-con. No, no, no. You that, know, the no. R-word. No, no, no. That wasn't Pichu. Uh, but I do agree that, uh, non-con, there was, like, someone in the chat who was... Look at it. No. Whoops. Okay. Well, that was... you... oh. I thought maybe... You could, like, go inside the tunnel or something? Yeah. Oh, well. Um, I, there was an argument I had with a guy on my Discord chat a while ago who, because this guy was into non-con. Um, and I was like... That doesn't really... I don't think that's a kink. I think that's just, like, straight up... The R word. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you have non consensual sex, then that's. I mean, I think we could just say that's that's rape. Yeah. It's rape. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't yeah. care about any other context of where they're it, 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 or not. If, it, if it's not consensual. Like between both parties, yeah. then it, yeah, that's just rape. Yeah. Or at the very least, sexual assault, which I guess is kind of the same thing, but in yeah. ways. But then he tried to like justify it as being like, oh, like say you're 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 married, right? And like uh -huh. your your wife is downstairs and she's making you dinner or whatever, uh -huh. and you just decide to just start uh like and uh and like uh, just start fucking her right there in the kitchen. Um, and I'm just like, that still sounds like, despite if you're in a relationship or not, you, the marital rape is still a thing. Yeah, you still need consent from your partner, wife, spouse, whatever you want to call them. Yeah. Um, and then he was like, oh, but, but, like, what if she's, like, into it, like, right, like, what if... Okay, but then, that, okay, so the two of you need to have set up prior some sort of agreement saying that, hey, if you see me downstairs cooking in the kitchen and you're in the mood, feel free. Right, and that's... That's still I, consent. Yeah, that is... Because it's established prior to the second relation. So I was actually even trying to give him the benefit of the doubt, right? I, I was even trying to say that. I was like, so... Was there agreement beforehand where, like, there was a a, a written know, contract or yeah, yeah, like saying, hey, like, hey it... I'm okay if you do this, and he would then he would say, no, there wasn't, and they're like, okay, so then that's still rape, and whether <laughs> she has fantasies about it or not, that doesn't make it okay for you to go do that to her, yeah, or him or them or whatever, like, and, and nobody deserves to be raped, mm. plain and simple, that nobody deserves that kind of trauma and torture. Even if you have, like, fantasies about it, or, uh, you know, certain, uh, like, kinks of relating to stuff, relating to other stuff, that, that there's... Uh, consent is a must priority in anything regarding sexual acts. Yes. No matter who you are, no matter what you're doing, consent is always, 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 like, the number one priority. Mm. The, the problem I had with this guy is that, like, I tried to give him so many outs, and he didn't take any of them. Like, uh, like, I was like, I was trying to give him the benefit of the doubt, and he would just deny it, and... <laughs> like, the only stipulation I can think of that is even remotely acceptable is if they're both your characters, and it's one doing it to the other. It's weird, but you know what? They're both yours, so technically you can control whether they consent or not and all that, so the, at that point, you do you. I don't agree with it, but you do you, you know? Well, that guy, that guy he annoyed me, um, for, I mean, for obvious reasons, but also, like, he was the kind of guy, right, where he thought that being calm during a disagreement meant, like, he was basically in the right or whatever, right? Where, like, like he was like, oh, you're the one, you're getting emotional, and blah, 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 and, you know. Becoming uh, emotional during an argument does not, does not make you yeah. wrong, just like being calm in an argument does, does not, not make you right. right. Yeah. And, and, he annoyed me for that reason, too, where he was like, he, he would always, he was he was that guy, right? Where he was like, on the way up here. say everything, like, so calmly and so matter-of-factly, and be like, oh, I'm being all up in a tizzy, blah, blah, blah. He doesn't matter the fact is you are condoning and yeah. are okay with rape and that's 
not acceptable. Yeah. I don't care how calm you remain about the subject. If anything, you make it worse by remaining so calm about the subject. Right, exactly. And that just annoyed me a lot. But anyway, we don't even have to worry about that guy anymore because he's not part of my disgroup anymore. He, okay. Like, he's he's gone. Okay. So, and it was not Pichu. Pichu does not have that game. Okay. I, I, for some reason, thought that he did. I could have sworn that at one point he had expressed interest in it or that he did have that, so I just... I, I don't know. That, that, that was a bit of a stipulation I always kind of had with him, but... I think that that's not the yeah. case, then... I, I, think well, I, I guess I'm sorry, yeah. Pichu, I didn't... Yeah, I think you can just confuse him for the other guy. I'm, I, I guess so. And in which case, again, I am sorry. All right. Uh, anything else? I don't know. Do we want this to keep going? I, I, I mean, if we have other... Uh, I guess it does. It is better to keep it contained to one video than drag on to another one. Um, I'm just... Probably. I don't, I, I don't really know if I can think of anything else. So who's this smarmy looking out for? Jack. Found the legendary golden as in Jack and the Beanstalk. You can have another one of its uh. eggs as a souvenir. That's not a golden egg. No, it's not. That's the ugliest goose I've ever seen. Well, that's probably because it's a dragon, and how dare you call it ugly, sir? That was adorable little dragon infant. How dare you? You missed that part. I did. <laughs> I don't know. But I got it now. Alright. This level's still not complete, because I gotta do this hardened bird level. I do wonder how much Melody is gonna edit this episode, because we were... We, usually she edits out parts where we're quiet, but we were pretty talkative in this episode. I, I think that's a good thing, though. Yeah. You know, it keeps the conversation flowing, as it were. But it probably means this episode's gonna be a longer one. I'm okay with that. I mean, we kind of need longer episodes anyway, right? Um, supposedly we actually need shorter episodes. Melody was looking I... it up and saying that the ideal time for a uh, Let's Play channel of our size is actually around eight minutes. Really? That seems so short, though. Uh, it is. Apparently, only uh, longer videos are only better for larger channels. So we should be doing like ten minute recordings. Just a friend you I guess. I. I don't even know of anything we could get a decent amount of stuff done within ten minutes. That's exactly what I was saying. I was like, I was like, I don't even know if we can eat, even have time to complete like a single level in Spyro in just ten minutes. I mean, of course, she was saying we could probably do it like twenty minutes and to trim it down to ten minutes or something. But still, yeah. it, that's a lot of stuff that'll probably get snipped out, which is... I, I mean, that's like a highlight video, not even really a... a like, a recording, you know? Yeah. Where have you been, James? Oh. We were supposed to meet in the temple an hour ago. And don't give me that old matters of national security line again. I guess it doesn't matter, though. The whole temple oh, like how is witches. full of nasty cats. Oh, anyway, no, they're not wizards, they're witches. What's the difference? Unless you want to battle the witches. Yeah, all right. Shame sure I have to kill all my own kin, but you know. Yeah. Oh wait, so wait. These ones are different than the wizards. Oh, I see. I'm sorry, cats. I regret this. Do you really this hurts me more than it hurts you. I'm pretty sure it hurts them a lot more than it hurts you. They're being exploded with rockets. Yeah, but I have to live with the guilt that I killed my own kid. I. So, I see those rocket so congrats, aren't just soldier. <laughs> I, mean, well, yeah. I just hope your accuracy is better than your punctuality, because there are still a lot more witches in the temple. I thought you wanted to go on a date. Uh, maybe this is their idea of a date. <laughs> but she's not even doing anything. Equally, she was like, we'll just have to cancel our date unless you want to battle the witches. So, I mean, I don't know. That that was surprisingly effective. I got 7 out of 10 just by doing that. Just shooting at the door, yeah. Yeah. Um, skill book? Or guidebook real quick? See if there's a skill point for breaking the windows? 
or not breaking the windows. There's nothing in the thing we're in right now, right? The, I, the thing we're in right now is Charm called Bridge, I guess. Charm Bridge, so. Uh, oh, there is. Charm Bridge. Shoot the temple windows. Ha ha! See? Okay. Ha. Wait, so. Yeah, the impossible tower, whatever that is, and shoot the temple windows. Right? All right, nice. Ha ha! See, sometimes those helpful to look things up. Yeah. Oh. There are still a few witches left, though, and this time they mean business. They even turn the floor into deadly blue ooze. Oh, oh do be careful. Blue ooze, okay. not water. Oh, that's why it's all bright and shiny. Ooh. See? <laughs> ooze. <laughs> Although, this is still the most effective tactic, I'm pretty sure. Just face the door and keep firing. Yeah. I got eight of in that time. Yeah. I These witches ain't got shit on me. Like, if you thought regular spiral was, like, easy mode, this is even worse. Yeah. Oh, I knew you weren't the leader of the hummingbird resistance movement. But he's not a hummingbird. He's definitely a penguin. Yes. All to ourselves. But first, I have a present for you. Not in front of the kids. <laughs> well, the present is a kid. Oh no. Um, uh, this, uh, this sounds a lot like Sergeant Bird. Do you need to take a leave of absence? Do you need to retire? Like, uh, honey? <laughs> He's like, I didn't sign up for this. I didn't sign up for children. <laughs> I'm a soldier, not a father. Jeez, Louise. Uh, so in the impossible tower. I have no idea what that means. I hope you do. I think that's where I need to get this thing to. Yes, yes, so it's there now, which means I need to go over here. Uh, whoa, wow. okay, I almost died. I don't need to collect the extra lives. Hey, I didn't die. And I, plus, I still have 30 lives. You got lucky. 31, I'm pretty sure. Unless you died recently, and I didn't see it. I probably still have 31. Um, hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that's probably not it. <laughs> what the? Spyro, are you you okay, buddy? I got soft locked there for a second. Huh. Anyway, uh, um, I just want to make a quick shout out to Wickenin. I'm sorry for shitting on this game so much. I, I think I made unnecessarily, un unnecessarily made problems for it that it probably didn't really deserve. Uh, so I apologize for shitting on your game of your like childhood favorite game as much as I did. And equally I apologize to you as well, Nick, for a lot of the a lot of the invalid criticisms I presented earlier. I forgive you. I mean I'm not gonna sit here and try to say it's the perfect game. Uh, right, but I definitely gave it a lot more shit than it probably realistically deserved. And I wanna apologize for that. And to a lot of the fans out there who equally uh, hold this place hold this game in a dear place in their hearts as well. Well, thank you. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna make that. I'm gonna try again. That's the only one I can think of, because I don't think there's really... Is there one out to your right somewhere you can maybe jump to? No, Over there? not really. Also, I like how since you defeated all the wizard cats, the stairs don't like... Yeah, they don't move up and down anymore, because they were the ones controlling it, but I killed them, so... Problem solved. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, kids, if you have a problem, murder is the solution. <laughs> violence isn't the question. It's the answer. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Or, uh, violence isn't the answer. It's the question. And the answer is yes. I'm trying to get as much as a lead as I can. Ooh, ooh, ah, close. So, obviously, that, that, that's got to be it, right? It, it, it has to be, right? So, if it... Isn't there like a thing where you can like leap and like glide to it just after the uh You still have 31 lives, so I mean I don't I, think that I collected another life for you to do. Ah. Sometimes on very rare occasions, uh one of the animals will just give me a life butterfly. Oh, okay. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that's gotta be the tower, because I don't think we've gotten to it has to be, right? Because we haven't gotten to it before, and I can't think of any other reason or method of going to it, so... 
right? I mean, yeah. Anyway, what I was trying to ask, isn't there like a thing where you can like take kind of like a half a step up before you actually like leap toward it to glide and... Hey! Oh, it was! Okay. All right. Cool. Good job of making that. That, that, that looked like it was very difficult. It wasn't the easiest, but you know, I am a Spyro expert. You're, you're, you're a pro gamer? I'm a somewhere. pro Spyro gamer. Do you think Birdly went to consider this a true game? <laughs> of course not. It's a kid's game and a platformer. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. If you want an adult, real challenging platformer game, you should play Dank Souls. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's going to do it for this episode. Jesus, it's only 50 minutes long. How did it... We spent a while on this one, I think. Yeah, and it was only really two levels. Um, you idiot. I'm really glad I didn't have to think of spikes on top of it, which I thought I did. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.